I'm the, I'm the last one to insult people on their lack of math comprehension. I just I just remember every single time in math class being like, yeah, this isn't that hard, but it is so boring. It it's so difficult to keep your attention on like algebra Dude. two. It's it's grueling. There there's at no point was I like, oh, that's so neat how I equaled the equation. Like, and, it, and I would have this whole thing. It's like, all right, tomorrow we're starting a new chapter. <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow's the new chapter. And I'd go yeah, in and I'd be the like, the Taylor diet. I'm like, tomorrow I'm, builds upon today, though. <laughs> new chapter tomorrow. <laughs> new chapter, like, all this today doesn't matter anymore. We already that's failed. That's never today. what happens in math. It's always <laughs> like, you know, today we do A plus B, tomorrow. A plus B plus C. And it's yep. like, oh, you know, I was really struggling with yesterday's lesson. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing today's. Oh, there was there was a time I remember it was it was an algebra class, my my freshman year of high school. And I did what you're saying, where I was like, I'll catch up before the test. Didn't learn anything. And the and we'd have daily homework. And he would walk in like an up and down, he wouldn't have people pass their homework to the front. He would have people like just have it on their desk and he would come down and he would get it from this guy named jake and then when he went back up it would be past me and jake would pass his homework to me and i'd write in all the answers really quick and then i'd hand it back to him and every week there was no work on my sheet no working it out or anything it was just the answers and every week he'd be like Taylor, you really have to bring your scrap paper so I can see. And I'm like, <laughs> you know how it is. You know, you get so into your maths that you, <laughs> that you, that you forget. That worked all year. I didn't oh, learn no. anything. Yeah. And all of the, te all the tests were grueling. I had to like, I would get all the, all the questions on the left side of the paper. Correct. Because I could look over and see what Jake was doing. Right side of the paper. Maybe maybe once so in a while, like how a to do through. algebra two even a little. Uh, enough, I, I pass. <laughs> <laughs> so not according to the Missouri educational system. <laughs> yes, yeah, certainly not. According to Missouri, I'm well well versed in algebra. Two. <laughs> but it was Jake. Shout out to Jake. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Damn, Jake. I didn't have I, any. Uh, I only tried to cheat like that one year, and it was in some sort of um, computer class, and. It was so easy to cheat because you could just like copy somebody else's thumb drive. And I, I did that and I printed everything out at home and she could recognize the difference between inkjet and laser. And yeah. so I got like a, I don't know, a 15 or something in that class. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like what? Cause like, like most of the year's work had been fraudulent. Um, it was, did, it was did you guys good. ever hook up any cheaters in high school? Like friends who needed help? Because nope. I remember, like, someone, one of my, you know, not a friend, an acquaintance, but I'd help him out. He would sit to the right of me in English, senior year, and we would get vocabulary tests. And this fucking retard could not remember the meaning of words to save his life. And so every single week, I would take the test, he'd take the one, and I would finish the whole thing, and he would look off of it. And it got to the point that the teacher was so disheartened by obviously seeing Joe cheat that, like, she stopped caring, and so at one point he just reached over after I was done, took my paper, and then just copied it. And she saw it. She gave him an A plus on that one. But then, <laughs> then the next week, she gave him a remedial vocabulary test, so it would be different no. from everyone else in the classes. Mm. And she did that for a while, and she would be, and he'd be like, Taylor, Taylor, what is, what does sufficient mean? Oh no! And I'd be like. Ugh. <laughs> It's right. It's C. It's an, enough. Like it's, it's C. It, it's certainly not avian birds or whatever the fuck that <laughs> B is. And I just I helped him through that too. <laughs> I remember. I can remember a guy was trying to cheat off me. It's like Woody. Woody, what'd you get for number three? And I'm like, pal. I'm not your guy. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to ask somebody smarter? I have no <laughs> idea, help. but if you find out, you you let me know, right? <laughs> I remember. In I'm a, in lost. A, <laughs> I thought this was geography. In a, I remember in a in a chemistry test once in high school. It's probably tenth grade. Like they they didn't have a normal seating thing. It was like a big, you know, almost finished square. You know, and where he would stand at the front, and it was just that kind of U shape with the square uh, desks, and everyone was sitting there. And someone who was really, really good at chemistry was like, "I'll sit on the far right," 
and then everybody just copied to the left of me and it was like a game of telephone where like our great it was like 90 percent 87 percent 80 percent 74 percent just like worse and worse as it got down thankfully i was only i think two from him and so i got most of the good answers uh, yeah cheating in high school two thumbs up to that there, there's no reason not to you know well. kyle you are muted my friend yeah, I'm trying to think if I had any other good cheating uh, times. You would think so. I mean, there was plenty of times when, like, I would have, like, a little cheat sheet of some kind, like a formula or something. And and what I would always do in that situation, because I felt like getting out a piece of paper or, like, something like that was so ridiculous, I'd either write on my palm or, uh, you know, like, 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 and sometimes it'd be a code anyway that even if they saw it, they wouldn't know what it meant. But to me, it's a mnemonic device or something like that. And uh, that or my, my, my main trick was to write – on the desk write the cheat sheet on the desk and make it look like some asshole just scribbled mm -hmm. and so like i'm i'm over there putting the, all the fucking answers all over my desk in wonky spots like like if it's like biology or something like that like how, you know the inner workings of a cell you know like, like like all the little pieces and like like how like like each one is inside the other or whatever like that's on the top of my desk because i i'm not remembering that shit this week it just and nobody ever saw that and it, it, at the end you could just like lick your finger and rub it right off in uh what was a class i cheated in? italian i cheated in italian a good oh, bit you had italian class in, uh, mia. In, in, in college in college in college, oh, college yeah i remember taking italian and oh no this is an even better one <laughs> i remember i was i was in eighth grade ninth grade doing math and i did not know what was on the test and i remember telling myself in lunch period the the test is right after lunch i was like I'll probably know some of it. I've been in class. Like, I, I, I get it. <laughs> and then I got into the class and I saw the test and I was like, oh, oh, no. And so I like pushed on my nose and picked it and pushed it until my nose started bleeding. And I was like, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Go. I can't finish the test. I can't, I can't finish the test. I'm sorry. And so I went to the bathroom, got my nose to stop bleeding, pretended that it took half an hour. And then came back and like sat down and was like, God, I finished my test. And I went over to the teacher and was like, I can't possibly finish this. Can I do it another day? And she was like, I fucking guess so, Taylor. <laughs> I I went home, still barely studied, <laughs> and, and got <laughs> and got a C. <laughs> she I thought that I was in the I, I was made, but then she gave me a different test. And so oh, that that was oh. what proved uh, proved difficult. So I was more studying the questions I had seen. But that that wasn't the way it panned out. You uh, mean only studying the questions you saw? Only studying the questions I saw. Yeah, because I, oh, I just hated that. And she what was a such waste a bitch of time. Of all this testing and horse shit. <laughs> yeah, that we had to do. It's a bunch God, of nonsense. So like at no nothing. at no point are they like, we're going to teach you how to pay taxes and build a financially responsible future. Yeah. How to invest in stocks. It's no. It's like, what did fucking George Washington eat for breakfast on his thirtieth birthday? Who cares? Amazing. Thank I can't you. Possibly I'm so glad know. I half know Italian right now. Oh well, I I fucked up. I, I you need to take a full language. You know, at at Mizzou where I went, and the only class it was a six hour class, so only two classes for Italian could get you your entire language requirement, whereas you would need three. Uh, classes for Spanish or for Latin, whatever else you wanted to do. And yeah. so I took Italian one my freshman year, second semester of college. And I was like, that sucks. This is a problem for senior Taylor. And so <laughs> I didn't take Italian for two full <laughs> years. And then I jumped into Italian two. And this teacher is only speaking in Italian during class. And I have no idea what is being said. And I immediately rec I've said it before, so I'll keep it quick. I, I, you know, reconciled myself to being like, all right, you're going to be that guy that upsets everyone who just raises his hand and answers wrong for everything. So she knows you're trying. I would go to office hours and be like, look at my workbook. I'm trying. It, is it any good? And she'd be like, this is so wrong. <laughs> like, it's so, so much of this. But was, you're now. It's me, more, Taylor. More, more no. oh, <laughs> hey, my speaking test was the most, this poor woman for having to endure the most uncomfortable event in all of human history. And I'll, like, I, we had, you had to write an essay at the end of every test. And I, I won't, you would have to write about, like, write about your family's trip to the grocery store. And I didn't know fucking a lick of Italian. And so no matter what the question was, I would lead off, because there was a word requirement of, like, 250 words in the essay. And I'd be like, 
me and my family and my brother and my sister and my dog oh my all went God. to the grocery store and bought <laughs> wine. We also went to the movies and watched a movie with my brother and my sister and my <laughs> just everything and all of each each essay worse than the last to the point that like like she genuinely like was she thought i was a an actual retarded person by the end of it because i did not earn a c but she gave me a c because i like <laughs> and that's a that's a nice college lesson for you if you don't know what the fuck's going on Go to the office hours. Be that stupid idiot in class who's like asking questions and upsetting all the rest of the classmates. But yeah. that teacher is going to remember you as that stupid Did idiot who that doesn't much quite effort get it. over learning. Yeah, Italian, just though? learn Italian. What you, I, <laughs> it's I, not a good tip. It's actually okay. You're <laughs> Guys, right. It, hear it, me it, out. Hear me out. I, I have yeah. this. Act. Work okay. incredibly <laughs> hard. Do all your homework. Show her your worksheets. Come to her office hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It would have been Just easier like to learn Italian. <laughs> it would have been easier to learn Italian if I had done it sophomore year first semester. But that was that was the most that was the dumbest academic decision I made in my life. Taking at Italian to senior year, two years no Italian. So you tried to shortcut the Spanish that would have taken three by taking two Italian. Yes, two oh, semesters okay. Italian, three semesters Spanish. See, the Still, whole thing I, I couldn't tell you three words in either. I still think the most important thing that we ever came up with on the show, the most important fact thing that, that, that we got our hands wrapped around here, the work that we do here, of all the good work that we do here, <laughs> this I think this might be the best. It was when we discovered that cats <laughs> can't die from being thrown off of high places. We, we because, didn't confirm because this. The, <laughs> shut up. That's not what we learned. <laughs> oh, my... I, I, we got enough fans out there. We'll get it confirmed. So, so basically, you take <laughs> a cat and you throw it off of whatever you know, high place. And the thing is, the terminal velocity of a cat is it's been calculated. You know, it, it, mm -hmm. it, let's just call it eighty-seven miles per hour. Let's just just round number. Can't possibly um, beat that fast. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I think it's like one hundred fifty for a person, isn't it? Well, it's a cat. Cat go faster? No. No. Slower. I feel right? like it, it, would, it, would, it would be going slower. slower. It's spreading yeah. its 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 body out. It's built for that, right? It's fuzzy. So it's the thing is that it. a cat can't fall fast enough to die. The just, terminal velocity just, no, of a cat. There's a death. True. No, there's a death zone. What you're saying is kind of right. If they there's a zone that it's more dangerous for them, but then once you get it's like four or five stories. But once you go past it, they're more and more safer because they have they need time to ratchet their body around to spread. Like they instinctively oh, yeah, spread their the shit ratchet. out. I'm, but, but if they but don't have their, yeah 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 I, if I they don't have time it, yeah. to ratchet, then mm -hmm. they just hit on their side and they're dead. Yeah, so, so a cat, it, it's 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 better. To drop a cat like twenty feet than it is yes. like 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 six feet maybe because then maybe it can't get twisted all the way around because it does this corkscrew thing with its tail they've shown in slow motion it's pretty ingenious but what I'm They're getting okay at, at six feet you could throw one from six hundred feet is what I'm yeah. saying that's what's cool. yes six hundred feet cat's <laughs> fine cat's fine just put a like... fucking GoPro on a tabby and 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 somebody get up on that St Louis arch Taylor will be there. I got a pair. I'll, I'll be there to watch. Yeah, you've got the, the GoPro <laughs> might throw off the weight. I don't know. If we're <laughs> we're gonna need two cats. That would be so One. bullshit. If they threw a cat off the arch with a GoPro, Kyle would be like, "It was because of the GoPro that it, it was." Does. <laughs> and then, like, like Woody would be like, "All right, we're at twenty five hundred feet." And release, and the cat will go right into the prop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turns Ooh. out Kyle was wrong. As you can see, the cat is very dead. <laughs> and, one and, and soon I will be too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think the 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 paramotor could chew up a cat and keep on going? It would definitely be fine. I don't even need to <laughs> turn it off and land without it. I love that. It would definitely be fine. <laughs> like if you were if you were falling from a super high height. Like there has to be, like you know, you saw those like people jumping out of the towers on nine eleven. Like yeah, there wow. is, there's definitely a thought in Let's that person's mind as keep they're light, falling. I'm just picking a, a tower people jumped out of any tower, the Happiness <laughs> Tower. Yeah, it could Beijing. have been the North or the South Tower. Or tower one or two, one. Kyle. That, could have been, don't, don't get all hung <laughs> up on which tower it is. <laughs> like you know, like I know that if I jumped out of a tower like that or a, a building or something, like part of me would think like. How do I maneuver to survive? Like you would yeah. in your in your like brain, it's just an un you would know in a logical way you're not gonna survive, but like that survival instinct is gonna be like, how do I fall to make sure I kind of lit and then you die. No, I, I, I would absolutely be like, I've got two minutes of life left. 
how much fun can we have? What should we aim for? Where should we go? How can I figure out how to like wingsuit this shit? I don't yeah. know. Now, Take your if, clothes off. Now, 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 I feel like if you worked in some sort of like, if what if you had access to like the interior of like a uh, like a sporting goods store? Do you think you could you could fashion yourself some sort of parachute device that you might think would only cripple you at the bottom of say a hundred stories? Out of an office building? Out of a sporting goods store. Sporting could, goods. Could, could we get like a couple of tents together and some 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 fucking rope and uh and, and make something happen? Can we slow ourselves know. down enough, enough to, to only break a few legs? What a about like legs. two surfboards? Tie them up so it's like a raft in the sky. So you could glide with that. Yes, work? you want something heavy and solid above. Yeah, it. yeah. Very <laughs> I want something that's long and very thin and unwieldy. So when the wind catches it, it's just gone yeah to woody's point like you'd want to spend like the most fun you could in the last two minutes i bet there was a lot of sexual harassment at the end <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. a lot of people some creep from accounting finally being like here's my chance <laughs> to, to go to go grope the hr lady how what? bad is it how bad does it feel when you're like you and the hr lady are, are like holding each other sh like like shielding yourselves from the flames you're like if we get out of here you think maybe uh, Friday night? Because this was a Tuesday. Yeah. No, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm surfing her down. I'm surfing her <laughs> down. <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing her. Like, 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 I feel like she gives me a, a decent shot. A better yeah. shot than going naked. I'm not, I'm not hitting the floor raw. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm bringing something with me. A desk. Definitely not raw. That'll kill you. Yeah. My, a I desk? Mean, no. I, I feel like if you gave me a night... With, with 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 the supplies that are in my home, I could fashion together a parachute that would that would that would have saved me in the twin towers. There I is no could. well, way. you have parachutes. <laughs> I got like you eight parachutes count. and ten wings. I'd you're be like fine. not only would I survive, I'd do it in style. So I'd start by <laughs> you're you're the one guy that shows up for work that Tuesday with a paramotor on. <laughs> <laughs> I got like, what tandem did he gear, know? Kyle. We could both survive this. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna have attitude, I'm gone, and you just so leave. <laughs> I think oh, you'd have own. a hard time taking off out of a, an office building, though. You'd have to be at the top, right? At the no, very top, so you can get a running a running start. No, then then that updraft because you you want the catch you. you want the prop or whatever behind, not the prop, the the wing behind you. So like taking off off the top of a building, just like escaping. I New think York, you just want to ride the reserve be the down to the bottom. I, I would just 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 use the no, reserve I, and just get out. I think. Yeah, oh, what are you heading to Staten Island? Reserves. You're you're like fuck you guys. You're I'm out. <laughs> well, you're not dying. But if I, I'm getting into the into the details here, but it, I can definitely jump out of a window with a wing and have it expand and fix it. I'm I'm pretty sure people do it out of helicopters Ooh. and planes and shit. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, what he needs to go to the Freedom Tower. <laughs> and, and, and jump off and see if he can survive. You show up in the yeah. street down below the Freedom Tower and just try to gain access while wearing that gear and record it, and that's a big video. Like, like <laughs> just just show me. Like today, we're gonna call a video paramotoring off the top of the Freedom Tower, and then just without any preparation, begin your day attempting to do that. Just just walking in the ground floor wearing the full gear and be like, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up the top today and and take off. Um, I think I'm trying to make it to Jersey. <laughs> I think I can do it with that much. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to burn the fuel getting the elevation, right? I think I can you do it. You've got hike and fly gear that looks like a backpack, right? So you just wear that up. That's and hike, then, hike you... and fly. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a yeah. good prank. That's a good prank. <laughs> it's like a proposal. She said no. No. <laughs> Give her lifelong trauma thinking you killed yourself, cut yourself off, delete your social. <laughs> just. <laughs> Fully commit. So I got I looked out so much. They introduced sign language at my high school like a couple like that year or the year before. And she was like this don't give a fuck hippie chick who was in her late forties, early fifties. No, no, no. Early fifties for sure. Something like that. Oh, wow. Like I think her husband had just died. She was about to buy a red convertible and she didn't give a fuck. And she thought I was cute. And I didn't know shit about sign language, and I passed sign language two, and that is my extra language on wow. my uh, fucking high school diploma. I don't, I still wow. don't know. Any, I, I knew the alphabet, I knew the alphabet, and somehow I passed uh, sign language two. We would just what, sit. What's the alphabet like? Is it like it's like A? a shit. B, um, what, maybe it's like B, the blood symbol. B, it's all based on that. B, <laughs> F. 
No, it's no. F is this. <laughs> H. Um, uh, Taylor. I, 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 I think that's in. <laughs> Um, here's Jay. <laughs> this, this is him. This is literally him. And then that's in. You got my nose. Got your nose is in. <laughs> yeah, you got your nose is in. What is literally I? In. I is this. What's G? Uh, G or J? G. I think G is this. Do you oh, spell a lot of shit in sign language, or th- yes. um, you, so you have to spell a lot for names? And, and when, oh. when if we just met, then I would quickly spell Kyle, which is like K. I can't. Why wouldn't you come talking. up with I your used, own I used cool to be able to, like, symbol? Do it you do when you're more familiar. Like 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 if like if you're my if you're my dad, let's just say I'm not gonna okay. say I'm not gonna say dad. I, I might I might have like a symbol mm-hmm. for you, or but sure. But, but more likely, like, I wouldn't spell out like "dick" every time. I'd probably use the sign for a penis or something okay. like that. That would be our little. <laughs> that would be our little thing together. Is like, like I better be a big finger. That I signed. Yeah, I, I, was, I, I was like, yeah, that's that's that. He knows. <laughs> that's that's old Dick. Um, oh, that's I, cool. I have no idea what the sign for penis is, but yeah, um, that was that was two easy fucking credits because I just hung out the whole time in a goddamn trailer every afternoon, and sometimes I wasn't even class. I would just leave, and she was cool with it. We didn't do anything in there. That's awesome. She got a, like, she got a check though. Teachers that just let kids leave because they were so disheartened by their career choice. Like it wasn't that knowing wasn't that, that kids not going to learn. I would tell her where I was going. I was like, "Hey, can I can I go play in the greenhouses?" <laughs> She'd be like, "Yeah, get back before class ends." <laughs> Next thing you know, we're in one of those greenhouse dollies, mm-hmm. like going down an asphalt hill. Well, I say we. They were pushing. I was I was going. You were enjoying the ride, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it till till the bottom of the hill, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you don't remember any sign language? <clears throat> I remember what I just showed you, and at That's least it. some of that was wrong. Um, <laughs> most mm. of that was right, I think, or at least close enough. Um, as far as like boy and girl were really easy. I think maybe there's something where you like rubbed your cheek, and that was a that was maybe that's boy or something like that. I I remember so little. So I remember more Spanish, and I didn't even take Spanish. What's girl? In sign or in this? sign. Yeah. I have no I, I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what girl is. You guys should have a sign language interpreter like uh, on the corner. Oh god. <laughs> so funny. Oh, make a Patreon. I, I, I thing. will just do that for you. <laughs> I do like that idea. Yeah, um I, I one of the one of the most ballsy things that I've ever seen done is those people who agree to be sign language interpreters for a a TV feed and then stand up there and bullshit it. You've seen this, right? Like it's happened at like at police yeah. press conferences. Like the, the fucking sheriff is talking about how the manhunt is going. Meanwhile, They're this doing like, the Macarena. <laughs> meanwhile, this 40 year old black woman is hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. <laughs> and and there's some deaf person at home who like knows where the suspect is and they're like I don't know about this one. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it you know it's happened. It's it's nonsense. And those people get paid, collect their check, and they're usually like whenever they end up like researching who they are, they're like, Yeah, she's a known like um flim flam artist, scam artist. Like we say is flim flam a ubiquitous thing? Like do you all know what flim flam artist means? Like when scam. I say that? Yeah. I know Taylor will. Yeah, from the Simpsons, yeah. Okay, flim it's it's a common man. thing, like in the south. Yeah. I think it, it, it's like a, a con man or a scam artist. It's called the flim flam man, something like that. But yeah, that's what's going on there. But she's got the balls on her to stay to like. What's the end game? She knows she's getting found out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like, like this has to be fun for her. Like, like there's no other reason to do it. <laughs> that this is ballsy. Because what's the pay like? You it just can't be great. It, it can't. It can't possibly be worth the effort of sneaking your way into that bucks. position. It's got to be a couple hundred bucks, and now you've embarrassed the local law enforcement. So you literally have to run. You literally have to run. It's not <laughs> like, like they're going to track you down. There's not going to be a manhunt. But you better get the fuck out of town, or the sheriff's going to come and get you and, and prosecute you. An, an inside man law. humiliating police departments? I'm all in favor of that. I think it's funny, too. But there's some deaf people out there that might know where fucking suspects are. Dude, yeah, but they got fucking close connection. 100 an hour. An hour. Can we hire a sign language interpreter for PKA 600? Yes, absolutely we can. Um, <laughs> and, but we will not pay $100 an hour. I refuse. Um, we would like a cut rate. Um, 
And, uh, <laughs> we're gonna, we're, we're not even I'm gonna not pay paying, 30 I'm bucks. I'm not paying <laughs> full price for some person that can't even fucking hear my instructions. All right, there's no, there's no law against paying them less. <laughs> Wait, what makes you think they can't hear? Because they know. Yeah, they have to be able to hear. <laughs> No, I won't. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will only accept a deaf person. Who, who, okay, who, then it's a cut rate. That's fine. That makes sense. Because they have to read our lips then, so then it gets all yeah. all, all, all weird and wonky. That it's, it's never going to be right. I want well, a very. The, the, what if the, each of us gets our own? This is so. I want, now, now I want my now own. We're, now I have a budget. I problem. want a hot one. I'm I'm just gonna hire a friend to pretend. <laughs> Do that. You know what? You, you mentioned lip reading. I yeah. thought that was a much bigger part of deaf people's lives, maybe through probably through Hollywood and media. Like Seinfeld. I thought they could just kind of look. Yeah, so, through Seinfeld. Exactly. I thought that they could look and read what you were saying through lips. Apparently not at all. Not at like, all. They, they, like they can pick out like certain uh, vowel sounds and certain consonant sounds, but they can't unless you're saying a common phrase and speaking slowly. They can't even do that, which well, sucks. I think it's an assist. Like, like. Maybe they have bad hearing, but if you combine it with lip lip reading, they get closer. And if you Probably. combine, it, or if you combine it with like a little bit of signing, like like if if you're a person who um who is like us, I don't know what you call it when a person can hear. I'm sure there's some like term, some phrase that's like a, a hearing whatever. person. If, if, I if, bet if it's if derogatory. You, if your ears work, then um all these then, eeries. Then, then maybe you're speaking <laughs> the words as you're signing them, and a little bit of context from the lip reading uh. and the signing, it all sort of melts together. The same way, like. It's not as if I'm sure it's a lot easier for all of us to have this type of conversation where we can see each other's body language and lips move a little bit. You can pick out context and stuff than just an audio call. Like I'm for sure. I, I was on an audio call trying to like pay a credit card the other day and it was just like, ma'am, I can't understand a fucking thing you say. Pay it off. All of it. She's like, <laughs> ruh, 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 ruh. and I'm just like <laughs> Listen, I can't understand a fucking thing you're saying. I'm cursing now at the and, I, and at this point I realize Discover is not going to like me as much tomorrow. <laughs> just, I'm, I'm, I'm just like I can't understand anything you say, but please authorize, pay it completely off, all of it, all of it. There's not even supposed to be a balance, all of it. I start giving them mic advice in that situation. I'd absolutely be saying like, "Ma'am, is your mic located in front of your mouth or perhaps by your neck somewhere? I'm, For sure. I, I was on an audio call trying to like pay a credit card the other day, and it was just like, ma'am, I can't understand a fucking thing you say. Pay it off. All of it. She's like, <laughs> ruh, 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 ruh. and I'm just like, listen, I can't understand a fucking thing you're saying. I'm cursing now. At the And, I, and at this point, I realize Discover is not going to like me as much tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I can't understand anything you say, but please authorize, pay it completely off. All of it, all of it. There's not even supposed to be a balance. All of it. I start giving them mic advice. See. In that situation, I'd absolutely be saying, like, ma'am, is your mic located in front of your mouth or perhaps by your neck somewhere? <laughs> she was Indian. <laughs> she was Indian and she was in India and she mm. had a bad microphone. And I probably had a bad connection too. I um somehow or another I signed up for a credit card that has like um like a fee. And so like those every now and then I'm like it's it's like oh you gotta pay your credit and I'm like I've never used that card and I keep forgetting to cancel it and it's costing me like tiny amounts of money. You gotta cancel <laughs> it. That's like having an extra downgraded. I think canceling is bad for your credit. I know do you guys do churning, credit, but it's got to go. What is churning? Churning is when you mm. sign up for new credit cards to get the fifty thousand miles if you spend a thousand bucks and then as soon as you you just never use that card again and sign up for another <sighs> one. So I do it as much as I can. Um, yeah, so it's I do fucking it great with Delta. Um, I, I so because because I already am like whatever a, a platinum member or some nonsense and I got a shit ton of miles. Mm. So I try to get as many miles stacked as possible and like keep that rolling because at some point I just won't have to pay for flights anymore. Um, especially when you combine like cash and flights, they give you like a nice mix. So yeah, I, I do that as much as I can. Whenever I see a credit card that will do miles for Delta, I yeah. get it. <clears throat> I, I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't. I stock up on like whatever I need, like whatever I was gonna buy anyway, and cancel that fucker. I cancel them all the time. I think it is bad for your credit, but it's like one of those like wounds that heals rather quickly. I didn't know I didn't canceling know a credit card was bad for your credit. Uh, oh, everything's I, bad for your credit. Sp spending money, making money, getting credit cards, not using your credit cards. It's all fucking bad. You have, it, like, <laughs> they want you to use like 5% of your credit card credit or something like that. And then make sure you pay it back though, but not all of it. 
<laughs> and yeah. it's like oh, I got to really write a fine line to make you people happy with my credit. Uh, is it is it so, making my credit worse that I pay it off in its entirety every month for my credit card? I pay my, mine off entirely almost all the time. Like like it, but it, I think they think the answer is yes. They would rather you luck. have a yeah, lot of a debt that you slow a balance that you paid off over time. But they can suck a dick also. Like it, it, your finances are better, and I suspect you pay your bills on time, and your credit is not a concern. Yeah. I caught my girlfriend doing that recently, having <laughs> a balance because she's no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, we'll allow that as a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> having a balance, I'm like, whoa, what, what is this? What's going on? She's like, well, it's, it's bad for your credit if you uh, pay it all off. I'm like, what, what are you fucking building credit for exactly? Are we? Yeah. Are you planning to move out soon? What's uh, pay it off? Yeah, I've well, always I paid like mine it. off my entire life. I paid off my credit card in full, and my yep. My credit score is really high. Yeah, exactly. The reason I got a credit card wasn't because I needed more income or spending power. It was for the credit rating. So I just let mostly let them sit there. And if there's some kind of reward thing, I'll tell you that the credit card that we all use the most is going to be the Amazon fucking credit card. That synchrony, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, yeah. Because um, you're getting 5% on everything. And it's like, you can't beat that. You, like, yeah. like you're going to be 5% off deals with the free shipping and everything. Like, this is why Bezos is going to rule the world. It's, it's shit like that. It's like, I feel like I'm losing money sometimes if I don't do my do business with Amazon. It's like, well, I could get it here, but then I got to pay $8 for shipping. And I've got, and I'm not saving that extra 5%. Mm -hmm. Is you're that right? true? Have you but looked the... and made sure they're giving 5% back? Because I never have. You save 5% then... right off the top of everything. Oh, you do. It's okay. a five percent discount when you use that card. So I just have that card as my auto thing for Amazon. Uh, yeah. Very also, um, pay it off. Every once in a blue moon, something goes wrong, and Amazon's customer support has been flawless. So good, so good. It, it's not even customer support. They don't try to get to the bottom of your problem because they've got a they've got a pocketbook. They're like, oh, <laughs> did your five hundred dollar piece of equipment go missing? Dang. Would you like five hundred dollars cash or like a new one tomorrow? And it's like, well, what if I was lying? Then I just have two of them. You sure would. So which one? <laughs> well, and like you've said before, Kyle, like I'm convinced they have people like probably the four of us who spend so much money on Amazon that when they're answering something, they're like, oh, this is a premium user. They spend so much. Give yeah. them whatever they want. It's a long term gain for us. Yeah, who I cares like if it's to, 500 bucks? I, I've never looked at what it is, but I would estimate it's a couple grand a month, average at least, forever. And, mm -hmm. and you know, because it's everything, it's all of my things. Like I get my vitamins from there. I get my like aspirin from there. Anything that can be gotten from there, I'll get it from there. I get paper towels from there sometimes because they've got a cool brand that's cheap. And I feel like the grocery store rips you off for paper towels. I know that sounds silly, but look at how much one of those mega rolls of paper towels costs. It's like 40 fucking dollars for paper towels. Oh dude, t paper towels and toilet paper. The prices are ridiculous right now like we, to get like a 28 pack of toilet paper from yeah. just a normal grocery store a week or two ago it was 38 dollars that's what i was that's what it was it was 38 dollars for this roll of paper towels i was looking at last night when yeah, I was more than a dollar a fucking roll and i was just like i'm not gonna no fuck you i'm gonna order off of amazon and it was cheaper uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna smoke this uh this delta 8 free roll i just wanted to make sure if i knew it wasn't weed or a cigarette before i smoked it these are fucking cool, though. He, he um, started lighting one of those on PKN, and I thought he started smoking cigs again. But no, it's barely legal hemp smokes. Yeah. Oh, I've seen those. So, like, the, I, I don't know whether it's Delta 8 weed and sprayed with CBD or if it's CBD sprayed with Delta 8. I think you're having a hard time seeing it, but it's like you can't. It's spritzed with a chemical that you can see has been spritzed on there. Like so you can you, see stains all over the paper. Are you mm -hmm. like from the future? What are, do you have any natural things anymore that you got chemical <laughs> cigarettes You're injecting yourself with God juice? Oh, this isn't even the only thing I inject myself. I didn't grab the big vial. So I inject myself oh. with L-carnitine uh, every day, a full milliliter. So with testosterone, I do this little baby dose, like something like that. But with uh, L-carnitine, I do the full fucking shot in my ass every day. Oh um, my God. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's, that's just a... Um, like a vitamin it's got a lot of good things that it does for you but it's it's not uh it's not fucking with my body chemistry to any scary mm -hmm. way but there's huh. plenty of stuff that you could do like like you you dick could turn into a frightening thing to look at in in in, in like eight months like, like <laughs> you've already got such a good base that like if you went oh, hard wow. for eight months on the juice you would be like scary like you would look better than i looked in those pictures would i have to give up uh, drugs and alcohol though 
No. How much Absolutely. alcohol? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think then with the alcohol, it become like a calorie discussion. <laughs> like, what, yeah. what yeah. calories? Cal- oh, I don't care about like drugs and alcohol as far as your body chemistry. It's it's literally all the calories. It's that nine oh. calorie shot. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So you could do like white claws and think of the alcohol things. as your I'll just carbs. switch to acid. Think of alcohol as carbs and we're fine. So like Yeah, that's so a lateral move. So you Yeah, have it like, is. You have like a sirloin steak. Dare doesn't want you to know that. The big liquor doesn't want you to know that, but it is. I've never I've never done acid. Is you oh, would just dude, switch the, to acid? Oh, the move. This is this will change if you're dealing with liquor issues in your life, this will change your life. You'd get a uh, I got a big water bottle in the fridge and I drop uh, like two or three hits in it and I got it dosed so that a shot a regular shot you come out um it was like a buzz of a beer so if I'm and it'll last for hours so if I'm going to a Dodger game I'll line up three shots of my of my diluted acid water pop three shots head to the Dodger game I'll have two beers two $20 beers at the Dodger game and it's like as good as it's as good as getting shit faced, you don't overdo it. Like you're a lot more mellow, but you're still all, you're still enjoying baseball. Like that's the measure of any drug is can I? Does it make me enjoy baseball? Yeah. Yes. Sign me up. Like Dude, it's a drug must be amazing if it makes you enjoy twenty dollar beers. Like, yeah, and I, baseball. But only two of them. <laughs> Usually, I'm good for like seven. I'm like, oh, this is fucking miserable. I got to go Ooh. buy another twenty dollar beer. That's an but expensive this is... baseball game. Yeah, they're so expensive. Wow. It's it's no good. No. Wait. So, um, like, so do acid? you like acid? Oh yeah, I love. Yeah. I love What's the most acid. you've ever taken? Uh, just one or two. Okay. One or two. It'll last you like 12, 12 hours. Um, you know, it makes your. I mean, has any have any of you done acid? I've no. done. You done acid? Um, it makes my. It's. It, I. It, it's either. It's either just like a totally chill uh, fear and loathing experience. I don't I don't see anything or anything crazy like that. Like blinking, you'll see a bunch of like demons and spiders and stuff. But as long as your eyes are open, you're fine. <laughs> you uh, don't see stuff moving? You don't see like... And spiders and stuff. I'll see like stucco will undulate. Und- yeah, like the, a, the sort of breathing pulsating pulse thing. Yeah, yeah. But you have to look at it. It's, it's not like you're getting like, ah, all these fucking posters yeah. are coming alive and getting me. If I don't, um, if I don't stop and look at it, then it won't be there. But if I stop and I look for it, almost, um, it's there. So like a TV that's paused might yeah. look like it's still playing, or, or like a cell phone might have like wiggly bits around the perimeter or something like that. Um, yeah. I took a lot. I took four, um, and uh, and like the sky was breathing, and uh, it was it was All a lot right. of fun. It, it, it was a lot of fun. That, that's that's the best drug. That's the best I, drug. I agree. Um, the only bad time I ever had on it was I, I, I did a bunch of ass and I took my dog to the dog park and a bunch of these fucking kids were there screaming and hollering and like trying to pet my dog and fucking with my dog with sticks. And it was like it was it turned into this weird uh, like um, oil painting, like ho- oil like, painting. Uh, Nailed it. Yeah. That, that's yeah. the aesthetic that, that, that acid plays up is this oil yeah. painting thing. This really? sort, yeah, yeah, like you know how brush strokes are in oil uh-huh. painting. Like when I would look at my phone, it would have these sort of scallops of that oil painting color wiggling around the perimeter, sort of how like a fancy painting has that border that it's framed in, mm-hmm. and it yeah. has those little scallop shapes of like you know maybe just brush strokes or something, or maybe it's, it's usually wood that's been like uh, notched out or something with like a hand tool to make it decorative, mm-hmm. but. My phone had those, and they were fucking wiggling around and shit. But I was still like plenty sober enough, at least mentally speaking, to be like, "So uh, right now, my phone has uh, some oil painting bits around the perimeter. That's weird. Like, like, oh, I, yeah. like, I, mm-hmm. like I'm not like wasted out of my mind, like not knowing what's going on or being. So you're still with it enough to oh, be 100%. like, oh, yeah. What I'm looking at is clearly because I took acid. Oh like, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm like. Well, this much acid makes things look very odd, doesn't it? Very odd indeed. Like, like it kind of it turns you into there. a bit of an asshole too. Like it, like really? uh, like oh my, what a what a sophisticated experience we're having right here. Um, it will make it will make you a little meta, overly meta, intolerably it may, meta. It may but you will never little... laugh harder. <laughs> You'll never I've laugh fucking harder. I've never than... laughed harder. Um, yeah. And, and uh, it, it was it was very very funny. And uh, I, I watched uh, I watched some animation like like some of the classic shit like Alice in Wonderland and um, and maybe Fantasia, and oh, it yeah, was it good. was fucking great. Um, there was good. <laughs> there was another person there on acid, and they were freaking out like having a minor like 
I called it like white girl having her third like Mike's Hard Lemonade drum. Yep. But it was that reaction, and I kept saying, "I'm like, I'm like, you're like a white girl who's had her third fucking mics, dude. Chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. Like, like we're all we're, come on, chill the fuck out. And we're all on acid. We're chill all on out. acid. Like, like, like. But the floor's moving. Yeah, it's moving no, it's for not. us all. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Do you we need all to... see the floor moving, and so we're enjoying with, it. Stop being weird. With the amount you guys were doing, you don't need a babysitter or anything. You were just you could just go no. about your life. Like you're not getting sculled off of it or anything. No, I'm. Uh, if we'd had to deal with any adult shit, I mean, that wouldn't have been good. But I did it at night, um, and I didn't have any adult shit to do. But if like somebody had came to my door and needed me to like fill out a form or like <laughs> give them some fucking impossible. information, I'd have, it'd have been weird. I think I'd have gotten it done, but they'd have been like, "That guy's fucking weird, huh?" <laughs> like, like you see, I was licking his nose. He kept, he kept like he touched the tip of his nose with his tongue three times, and then look around like a lizard. It was weird. And meanwhile, I'm like seeing flies around me and I am a lizard in my mind or something like I'm trying to catch them. <laughs> no, it's, I accidentally um, did uh, some acid and then had to interview uh, Onision on the kill stream. Mm. Did I tell you guys this story? No, problem? you did not. Oh, I didn't. Oh, no. you know who on Onision is, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Very yeah he's kind of a big guy. It was right. OK, it was right when Chris Hansen tried to fuck him over. Uh, Chris Hansen was had had you know the Chris Hansen to catch a predator. He was on the he, show. Oh, he was. So he had led like a year long thing of like uncovering Onision's predatory whatever. And I don't mm -hmm. I don't know that much about the guy, but I was busting his balls on Twitter, uh, saying like, oh, you should call in, you should call into the kill stream, right? And we'll show and we'll show Chris Hansen because Chris Hansen wanted to not do it live and record it mm -hmm. and then release it later. And it's like, no, don't, no one's gonna do that. Come on, you're gonna make him look like an idiot. We know how the news works. Uh, so I said, oh, you should come on Twitter. And then I popped in some acid. And I'm like, dee 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 dee. And about uh, two hours later, right when it kicks in, I get a text from somebody saying like, oh, can't wait to see you interviewing Onision tonight. On the kill stream, I said, "Oh, oh no!" Uh, so I said, "Honey, uh, I told her about this." She gets home from work, and I'm like, "Oh yeah," and she's like, "Oh, that's great." And I'm like, "No, I did a bunch of acid like two hours ago." How much? How much did you do? Just one. Just okay. one. Yeah. Um. So I said, "Uh, can you like go to go to the store and, and can you go to the drugstore and get me some Ipecac so I can throw it up?" And she's like, what's that? I'm like, I don't know. I saw a family guy where they drink Ipecac <laughs> wow. and they all started throwing up. <laughs> and it's like a thing that you drink and it makes you throw up. And she's like, exactly. okay. So I start trying to make myself throw up because uh, it's not hit me yet. I mean, it was like a half hour or something. I, I can still get this up. But I imagine the little thing floating around in my stomach and it's like slowly getting it out. I'm like, I got to get this fucking thing out of here. So, just so everybody's clear. It's it already was gone. All over. over. Yeah. <laughs> over. 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 So I'm like, blah, blah, like tr desperately trying. I have my whole fucking hand in my mouth, like I'm trying to gut a fish or like stuff a turkey. And I'm like, why isn't it this working? Like, how do girls do this? I can't make myself <laughs> throw up. And I'm just throwing up like bile kind of down my hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. She comes back. I'm slumped over on the toilet, just like drenched in sweat. And she goes, uh, the guy at CVS said they stopped selling Ipe they stopped making Ipecac like 30 years ago or in the 70s <laughs> or something. He Did didn't you know what the, the fuck out. Do you want the home remedy? What is it? Sucking it's, a long uh, dick. Please tell me it's sucking a long dick. Rotten in the porn. <laughs> I know it makes dick. you vomit. <laughs> <laughs> it's very salty water. Just take the salt I tried that too. That was the next thing she did. She's like, I looked it up. It's salty water. I'm like, okay, fucking bring on the salt. Let's go. Salt, milk, everything. I'm chugging it. And finally, I'm like, I, this is just disgusting at this point. Like, <laughs> it's just piled on top of the acid. So, so you do the acid with all that salt. <laughs> yeah. Belly. And so, the acid. And the acid. <laughs> I just imagine your lips are parched. You're so oh. dehydrated, but you're seeing shit too. <laughs> so five hours later, I'm on this call with fucking Onision with my bathrobe tied. I'm naked. Totally naked because I'm sweating like a fucking maniac. <laughs> I'm so worried about like, you know, thousands of people are listening to this is like the interview that Chris Hansen couldn't get. And of course, I'm not just going to say hey, uh, Ralph, I cancel. Like, I'm on, I did too much acid. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to fucking nail this. Here we go. Here we go. So I tie my <laughs> bathrobe around my... I'm sitting right here. I tie, uh, the lights are all off. My, I'm looking at my phone. All the buttons are like... You know, like you were saying that they do. Yep. And I'm just trying to do this 
interview and not giggle and sound like pretend normal like oh so you're saying uh this and he's talking about all these horrible like he's talking about he starts talking about how when his uh, when his kid like his kid walked out the window of his house or something is kind of some kind of i guess it, it, well, it was his horrible tragedy and then he's talking about how he like heard a demon laughing or something and i just couldn't contain myself i'm like what do you yeah, what do you yeah, mean I you, heard it. <laughs> you heard a demon when your kid walked out the window of your house like i start laughing and everybody on the on the i can tell that they're horrified because they're like why are you fucking saying that why are you calling him out on this demon thing about his kid and i'm like because it's fucking retarded i don't know what you want me to say he's talking he's trying to like tell the story of a demon talking to him after his kid died and then keemstar jumps on I'm like oh my fucking god um <laughs> I'm like, baby, am I doing a good job? And she's like, well, you're sweating a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm I'm busting his balls, and I'm trying not to bust his balls so much that he just leaves. But he's kind of like, I don't know if you guys have a relationship with Onision, but he's, he's like a we he's weird. I, I was on acid, so what do I know? But he seems like a real weird fuck. Um, I bet he thinks you're just a normal guy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and so the interview's done. And Chris and uh, um, uh, Chris Hansen, they were busting Chris Hansen's balls. So Chris Hansen takes a picture, gets his Emmy out, puts it on his coffee table, takes a picture and sends it to me. He's like, well, this is what I got. Fuck you guys. The interview, this is what I got. And I'm like, okay, we're, hey, everybody what listening. I got, <laughs> I got a secret to tell you guys. Uh I did. I did a bunch of acid after he after saying he should come on, and I I didn't. I've been keeping it a secret this whole time. So, <laughs> and it. meanwhile, you're like not convincing <laughs> at all. You're just you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know. something. Yeah, I know. Like I don't know if so, you guys know this, but I'm really fucking wasted on acid. Did his kid uh, get hurt or die or something by falling out of a window? Yeah, I think. I don't know. I just heard it that at that moment on the show. I didn't never looked. If it was that true. happened in my friend's family and the kid was totally fine so that the window had a screen in it and the kid was like two and a half yeah it pushed the screen out the kid fell out rode the screen down landed in like bushes and stuff and it served as like a trampoline at the bottom not a bouncy really? thing but like like maybe the it, it scene where the adults grab the uh indiana jones too and, is, did Indiana that Jones. In that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Temple, yeah. No, that's Temple of Doom. Yeah, that's Temple of yeah. Doom. And they fell yes. out in the raft. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, anyway, the, <laughs> the effect of the trampoline Dr. hitting Jones, the bushes Dr. and everything, Jones. the kid just like gentle landed and kept walking. Should we record like an extra PKA one week so that if one of us does die, we've got that one to roll out to freak everybody out with? That that would we're be just, so we're just funny. real we're just we, we don't talk about any like current events you know mm -hmm. we 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 we're just, we're just like yeah can you believe that wild thing that happened this week in sports Woo! yeah after that we team... told them all that wings was dead <laughs> they'll never believe us again yeah <laughs> that would be uh, so funny have you guys ever plugged yourselves into one of those uh, like script creating artificial intelligence things where it, you give it a transcript of one of your shows and it will spit out dialogue that you it'll it'll make new dialogue that you guys have really i've never oh heard dude it. you no, gotta do that. do that people do it on my show all the i don't know who did it on my show but they fed it into the system and then just have it shit out like a page of dialogue that we're supposed to have and it's i sometimes i'll read it and go like i I don't know if this this is a fake one. Okay, yeah, this is definitely <laughs> fake. Like, I, you'll read it and you'll get to a point, and then it's like, well, uh, well, Sean, I'm off to go jump off. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the fake one. But up until that point, it looks like it looks eerily like something do, do you, you know would what say. It's called that we can no, I'll I gotta find it. I'll find so, out. Some, some listener right now, now will transcribe a whole episode and plug it into this. It's so funny. Let me ask the chat what it is. To work, someone. That would be <laughs> to work someone. <laughs> it's not even work for them. They're going to be having a grand old time transcripting yeah. and then making us look like retards. So is that course. it? It's going to be like no, I'd love fake, to see that. be cool. Fake voices or fake lines of fake things lines. we would say. Yeah, so you guys can record yourself saying all the words possible and then have it have a not computer just generate them. episodes forever. <laughs> I don't think I don't think there's any words I haven't said here. Yeah, I think everyone said every word. Here, that though. can't be. All the good I, ones. I don't think there are any like pertinent words that I haven't said here. Oh, okay. Well, that changes. Yeah. Phlebotomist. We haven't said I, Well, the computer I, I, will use I've words. I said phlebotomist because I was going to have to. I, I was, because, like, 
so I have to get blood fairly often because the the red blood cell count like gets so fucking high because of my my TRT, mm-hmm. and and so I'm gonna have to hire a phlebotomist next time because I got flagged last time I gave blood for my uh my uh, for terrorism uh, for, for for syphilis <laughs> antibodies because like <laughs> once you've had syphilis you've got like syphilis antibodies for like a long time. And uh, and so yeah, they that, that's take how my disease blood. works. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, you've got them. <laughs> they won't take my fucking blood down at the the fucking Red Cross anymore. So I'm, I'm gonna have to hire a fucking phlebotomist. <laughs> they won't take your blood <laughs> down at the Red Cross. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, uh, it's STD blood. It's got the it's got oh, the it's got the stain got on the it. Syphilis. It seems like syphilis antibodies are not a bug; they're a feature. Don't you want the ability to combat syphilis? So I'm not an expert, but my guess is that syphilis antibodies are what they use to indicate that someone has syphilis. So, like a syphilis test tests for syphilis antibodies, and therefore, like they have no way of knowing if you either are currently have syphilis or if you had syphilis three or four years ago, like I did, whenever no. it was. I know you didn't. You know why? Because you mm. went through two different kinds of strep throat treatment like three weeks ago. Exactly. If I it, exactly it, <laughs> and, and th- that literally would have killed the fucking uh, syphilis, like like what I went through last. Uh, That's true. You guys month. have shit luck. You've been you, you guys both got fucked by strep in the last couple months. Yeah, yeah. I Dick, I got I, I got to the doctor and then they offered to give me that shot and like I didn't. I knew it was going to be a big ass needle like this, and she was going to put it in my ass, and I didn't trust her because and I have to inject into that oh, ass cheek regularly God. so i was like Give i was like me. I, I took it from her and she let me inject myself with the fucking antibiotics and it was a big fucking shot it was like it was like that much liquid it was like it was it was a lot you know what's and funny was it easy to push the plunger huh was it easy to push the plunger uh too easy it was water-based so i went very slow so this is oil-based so, th- so that's an interesting <laughs> like question because like i don't know if i can show like what 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 like testosterone looks like in oil, but like, no, yeah. let me see. Uh, it, yeah, it's 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 just you can, really you can thick. See it a little bit. Yeah, it's really thick. It's like think of like um, vegetable Heart oil. Right. Yeah, vegetable oil. You know, olive oil, something like that. Um, it's actually in MCT oil, I think, or something like that. They use different. They use a few different oils to like to do this stuff with. But it's grapeseed oil. That's actually my favorite. Um, That's um, your favorite oil. Grapeseed. Yeah, seed? it's easier to push um, than uh, than MCT oil. Because like when you're pushing um, this syringe, uh, it's re- like like I'll be pushing so hard that it'll be bent. Like the plunger will be bending, and it'll be it's literally it's hurting my fingers to push that hard. I hate that. One time, um, it <laughs> because one time in the winter, um, I don't remember what oil I was using, but I put the syringe in my shoulder, and then the plunger is obviously sticking out the back, and I walked up to a wall. And uh, I, he- I, I I held this carefully so that it wouldn't drive this into my the shoulder fuck anymore. What is that, wrong like, with you? I made this. I made, <laughs> I made this the anchor, but I pushed this against a wall with my body weight, so because it was hurting my fingers so much to push it as hard as it needed to be pushed to to, to get it in. It was just going so. I've been I've been pushing for two minutes. Because it was cold. Because oh it was cold God. and thick oil. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder if you damaged the um, needle at all. Like maybe it was clogged and imperfect in some way. No, no, I I. I because no, it was just it was like no. that every time. It was like that every time. Okay. I had to do it a lot. It was that batch of um, oil. I, I, I talked I, to, to a nurse I know about your story about injecting yourself with that shit, and she was like, "Oh, that's like, that's like lose your license territory." Like, no, I was like, so like if some guy came in and he was clearly jacked <laughs> and he could inject everything on his own, you would let him do it, right? And I was assuming that your situation was normal, and she was like, "Oh." Oh no! Like, yeah, no like I, I, I'll lose my job <laughs> if they come in and see some guy injecting himself, and I'm. She should not there. have done that. She 100 yeah. percent should not have done that. Yeah, I, no. She was. She was like, "Where would you put it?" And I'm like, "Right here, in, in, in the top of my glute." She's like, "Have you done this before?" And I'm like, "I do it every day in that glute, Lena." And she's like, "Huh." Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was easily convinced, but I remember thinking like. I don't think she's supposed to do this. <laughs> no, absolutely not. They'll get they're getting, they're not supposed to let people free plug themselves in the back. I felt like I, I felt like it was on me at that point. If anything, it should be taking, you know, any culpability off of her. I did the injection. Now if anything goes wrong, it's on me. Yeah, they got a thing in America about drugs and it being whose responsibility 
you can't just do whatever you want with them as it turns I did, out. I did exactly Apparently what she wanted me to do with those drugs. I shot them into my ass cheek and I felt better. Um, I wish I had a, not like, I wish I had like a couple of syringes or um, vials of like um, whatever the current antibiotic is, the penicillin thing. Um, to just like knock out shit like that, like, that like these sore throats. The penicillin. Well, no, they're always making like a different one, right? Because penicillin doesn't work like it used to. Obviously, uh, bacteria built up uh, resistance to it. Same like or um, there's there's you got lots a, of a, uh, amoxicillin. Amoxicillin, is, yeah, something like that. Like like I just wish I had a vial of something that I could just like. We have some amoxicillin. You know, you have to to take the full dose. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, you know, our dogs seem fine. We were just a little irresponsible, and and he is fine. That was months ago. So now we have these like canine amoxicillin sitting on the counter. And I'll tell you, if I was home, I would have downed some. I mean, isn't amoxicillin? If you were home, amoxicillin is the exact same shit, right? It would you would just yeah. have to look at dosages. That's what I. It's the dosage, yeah. and it's four hundred. Great Danes. There's a hundred fifty, hundred fifty pound dog. Woody could have taken those. <laughs> yeah, he could have. He would have been fine for you. <laughs> yeah, it's the same doses for people because they're people sized dogs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that would have worked. I, I, I try to take all of them, but at some point, it's like really all of these. I've been, I've been well for a week. Um, sorry and because it, it a... fucks your stomach up so much to take them. I yeah, it's unhelpful. Like, like I, I'm balancing back and forth between like, well, I hope that I want the next guy's penicillin to work, but also like, I'd rather not nuke my entire body's flora right at the moment with like mm-hmm. eight more of these pills. Like, like, I feel like that's not good for me either. Like, I don't know shit about that stuff, but Derek seems to stress it. And like a big part of my diet and the uh, supplementation is built around it. So maybe so pause there. So it's good for you not to take the whole dose, but it's bad for society. Am I, did I get that right? That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. Yeah. But if oh, you're taking you it to the point that you get better. You got leftover guys in you that build up an immunity to what mm-hmm. you had because you didn't finish them all off. So you're no longer suffering, but you're still shedding the uh, illness that's now immune or now more immune to your yeah. To you the just penicillin. yeah. You just vaccinated the the virus. Yeah, and it oh. like, but it it really does nuke your whole gut flora, right? Yeah, like it kills. Ev- that's why you get so fucked up after you're on a cycle of uh, antibiotics. Um, I, I, I don't know about that. I usually don't feel fucked up because I usually try to get on it real quick with like a bunch of that fucking kombucha nonsense. God, that shit is nasty. Fuck that shit. That shit is um, not that bad. You're ma- it's not that bad. You just have to kombucha? get a good flavor. It yeah. tastes like a sock. You know, it's worse than kombucha. <laughs> Hard kombucha beer. Somebody oh. brought, some jackass brought a <laughs> six pack of hard kombucha, uh, to my last party and like I'm every time I have a party, I'm cursed with an 18 pack of of uh, Miller Lite or something, and like a sour fruit beer. And now I got to deal with a six pack of kombucha dirty sock beer that somebody snuck into the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw it away because of the alcoholism, but I- eventually <laughs> it means I got to get into it, and I'm not looking forward to it. Those yeah. sour beers are the grossest shit I've ever tasted. I'm, oh, I'm blown they're, away. They're horrible. When, when I go to a restaurant and they're like, we have a wonderful sour. It's like, <laughs> why would I want this? It tastes- Kill yourself. It Yeah, kill yourself. It is, <laughs> it, Woody doesn't know because he doesn't drink beer. A sour beer is the grossest shit. It tastes like all the bad parts of sweet tarts and yeah. none of the good parts. None of the sugar, none of the, the good kick. It's all the nasty puckery. Ugh, ugh. I and like sour. I, I'm, I'm I'm half thinking I might like this beer. You probably no. would like this beer, Woody. You, you probably would. I'm going to send those, all of them to you. What were those super <laughs> sour candies? Um, warheads. 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 Yeah. Oh, my mouth just watered thinking about warheads. I remember thinking my dad was a fucking psychopath because we would get warheads, you know, when they were popular, and I was maybe ten or something. The big bag there, and he would suck on them until the sour went away, and then he would spit them out. <laughs> like one because it, the way warheads worked if people I don't even know if you can still buy those is it's the most intensely sour uncomfortable flavor for about two minutes and then it melts that away and it's like nice and sweet it's like you get a little reward after, a after dealing with it yeah and it's some of them had gum I guess I, I never had a gum one Mine's but gum. he would he would suck on them and then as soon as it got to sweet he would like spit them out and it was like this is you're, you're a you're a, you're a that's, monster that's one of those <laughs> things lemon drops like, are good 
like growing up, like playing baseball, like we, we, we had the conf- concession stand and, and that was one of the things that was in there for like a quarter. That's like a quarter like thing at the concession stand. And I would always have a pocket of those when I played baseball. So like I, I just had those like cemented and it's almost an olfactory thing. Um, mm-hmm. uh, they, 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 they're so goddamn sour. Like, like, like they turn your mouth fucking inside out. They, they so make you pucker. Sour. Like, like Woody said, like, oh, lemon drops are good. Lemon drops are a solid candy. Imagine yeah. you take all that wonderful sweet and you remove it entirely from a lemon drop and then you take the sour and you magnify it by 50. That's what a warhead is. Yeah, yeah. They're covered in some sort of acid. I remember like, a kid in my school was like, I can eat all the blue raspberry warheads in this pack at the same time. And he got rashes on the inside of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. died. He he passed. He was hit away. by a car, but, <laughs> but his mouth was so blue at the funeral it was humiliating for his parents. <laughs> Man, they were really innovating the in candy then. That was they a, were. an exciting time. The nineties true candy yeah. innovation time. Whew, warheads. I don't see any of that stuff now. No, remember really when they? The- uh, remember the nerd rope? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm younger than all of you, so like I was still a kid when the nerd rope was coming out, and I remember being like so stoked on that. And then I tried one, and it's. A horrible run it's 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 horrific <laughs> it's just the, the worst game